Well, you're watching Burke's Backyard and it's now time for tonight's celebrity gardener, Stuart Wagstaff. One of the most loved people that's ever been in television in Australia. I'm sure many of you remember him from when he was the beast of Beauty and the Beast. And I must say, we all had a fantastic amount of fun doing this story. Oh, Walsh, they're not Benson and Hedges. I'm very sorry, sir, the bar appears to be out of them. But I'm sure you'll find these equally... Walsh, we both know that I won't find any such thing. Oh, of course you are right, sir. I'll just settle for the port. The 33? And only the 33, sir. Oh. Now, this is the overseas... Whereabouts in England did you come from? I was born outside Salisbury, near Stonehenge which was being built at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just got in. <laughs> Self-defence. Uh, but I grew up in Epsom in Surrey, yeah. which is where the, the Derby is run. Yeah. Um, but I left there at 15 to go, to go in the Navy, and I've, I've been on the move ever since. So there they all were at the top of the gangway, saluting and blowing their whistles. <laughs> You know, the full bit. The Admiral came up the gangway. There was a salute. great quote, and I hope I'm not butchering it, from Cary Grant, which said something to the effect of, after a lifetime of playing the role of Cary Grant, in my latter years I finally became. Yes, yeah, yes. How heavy is that yoke? You were always Mr. Suave, Mr. Panache. Yeah, Mr. That, was a, that was a bit of an act. I had my early years were in the Navy, the British Navy, during the war which I won, and, um, <laughs> and that had much more influence on my outlook and my behaviour right. than being Mr Suave on stage and television ever did. Hey, do you like the frangipani? Well, that is as big a frangipani as I've ever seen. Yeah, it's very old, I think, because they built that wall oh, right, yes. right through it. Oh, Here, that's I'll wonderful. I'll show you. It? So, well, this was an older house that's been renovated? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's 1907. Right. And that's been built in the back garden there. 1907. Do you remember yeah. it being built? Not quite. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Don. And that, um, that tree goes through that wall. It's a, it's a I love it. Well, so, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Look if I can. <laughs> <laughs> You still, you seem very sprightly in that. Yeah, I feel very well. I mean, I'm, I'm getting on a bit. I, I go to the gym at the mm. pump house around the corner here every uh, other day. I get on a walking machine and a rowing machine, occasionally the bike, and um, then do all sorts of strange things on strange machines. I pull things and push things and lift things. It's good. I enjoy it. Um, and everything I do, I do full pelt. I'm an impatient person, and that, I think that keeps me probably healthy. Is that your worst failure? No. But the worst one you're prepared to talk about. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but considering my advanced years, I'm, uh, I'm in great shape. And I'm 36 in there, you see, that's the trouble. But 74 here. I'm still, after only being here since November, I'm still sort of experimenting with Have things. Have you changed a lot of colours? I presume the outside's the I, same. No, same. Same inside as well. All oh, right. It was just right. No, it's There's good. a few things to do, of course, obviously. Mm, mainly, yeah. the, mainly the front garden, which is totally f finished. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said something dreadful. <laughs> well, what happened to the lawn? Well, what are they called? Army bugs or soldier Army bugs? Army worm, yeah. Army worm. They came in and they stripped it. Stripped it. it was a messy lawn because there's different sorts of grass. Yeah. And I don't quite know what to do with it. I want, I want some colour around that. Oh, that'll look wonderful. A bed with yeah. those sort of things, isn't it? Yeah. Or maybe a couple of um, natives. But, but I think your circle or something in the middle, done yep. out of the same brick as the edge. Yes. So it matches. Yep. Raised yep. a little bit. Yep. But you know, what I do here... I don't think I want a lawn necessarily. No, 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 no. no. And it's never going to be much good. No. What I do is get a vibrating plate and just compact it all, one of those vibrating things. Yes, I know the sort of thing, yeah. But then I do it all in decomposed granite. Now, decomposed granite sort of looks like something between clay and sand. It's very similar to a lot of the... I suppose you'd call them clays that they use for a lot of paving in Europe yes, and yes. in Spain particularly. Yes. This would give this a lovely, you could have a lovely beige sort of yeah, ochre nice. colour. Obviously you're into works of art. I mean, you've got some superb pieces around the place. Thank you. Mm. Yes, I enjoy, I enjoy for the, and not for the value sake, because mm. they're not that valuable, but just they please me. One of my fond memories of your place from last time are your works of art around the walls now. They, they work very well here. They do. Well, it's the same sort of house and the same sort of date, I think. Yeah. 
but I was lucky here because it's exactly the feel I want. English vicarage <laughs> with the chintz curtains. Do you mean perhaps you, you missed your calling? Not in the slightest. <laughs> I'm a, a practicing heathen. <laughs> Mm. And obviously looking around the post, lots of mementos. I yeah. assume that's you, is it? It's meant to be me. It's somewhat exaggerated. I, I don't know if this is allowed, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who, who, um, uh, a gentleman whose name I forget in Townsville. He made a whole series of uh, bronze uh, orchestra players with their... Yeah. All, all naked. Well, yes, I think I'll put that back on, <laughs> making claims I can't justify. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking... How much things have changed? I often wonder if there is any reality. Um, when you started in the media, if yes. one had said bloody or something, oh, oh, dead mate. Yeah, yeah. And there's an ad on television at the moment for one of the cars where he says bugger. bugger. They all say bugger. That's all they say. Yeah, it's all in the whole ad. Bugger, 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 bugger. Well, do you remember Gordon Chater said bum on, on the Mavis Bramson show and it was an uproar. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got, a, I think, a play coming up? Yes, at the end of this year. I'm not sure exactly when will be opening on either Perth or Adelaide. It's called Over My Dead Body. Very funny play. What role do you play? I play a, a crime writer. Well, all the principles are crime writers, isn't it? Oh. It's, uh, it's about the perfect murder. Did any others of your family come to Australia? Oh, no, no, that's why I'm here. Get away from them. We weren't close. Which brings up the thing of, of you've always been uh, absolutely um, satisfied with your own company. Oh, I love being on my own. Love it. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the, the greatest thrill to me is close my own front door and be on my own. I love it. So anything that others might find irritating, you can glory in. Absolutely. Total selfishness. Wonderful. Mm. You get lonesome, but not lonely. It's a great difference.